is sleeping in my bed? The nerve of that pooch. This calls for a good stomping. Take this and that and some of this again. Oh, hi, Odie. I'll teach you to sleep. Well, so much for my French bread and olive collection. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and friends. Friends are there. To help you get started, to give you a push on your way. Friends are there. To turn you around, get your feet on the ground for a brand new day. They'll pick you up when you're down. Help you swallow your pride when something inside's got to break on through to the other side. Friends are someone you can open up to When you feel like you're ready to flip When you've got the world on your shoulder Friends are there to give you a tip Friends are there when you need them They're even there when you don't For a walk in the park, for a shot in the dark Friends are there I don't care But friends will care Pay careful attention, everyone. There'll be a quiz later. time I go into that cafeteria. <gasps> oh, please, Mr. Cat, don't eat me, please. Please. I have no nutritional value. I'm very high in cholesterol. I don't eat mice. The Surgeon General put a warning on me. Eating me could be hazardous to your health. Eating mice. <laughs> what a disgusting concept. Oh, hi, Garfield. Hello, Floyd. How goes the rat race? I think Seymour is winning. Ha! I've got you this time, mutt! Isn't he a little big to be in the race? You're mine now. Ahem. <clears throat> Me cat. You dog catcher. Ralph, put that cat down! You are the most incompetent dog catcher on the whole squad! <laughs> <laughs> but, but, Mr. Mendelberg, I... One more mistake and you're fired! <laughs> yes, sir. I, I understand, sir. Let's eat. Do you like lasagna? Hey, cat. How come you make it like a dog? A cat? Where? Oh, you don't think I'm a cat, do you? Did you hear that, Floyd? Funny, huh? Uh, yeah, funny. <laughs> you a cat. <laughs> if I were a cat, would I be walking with a mouse? Obviously, I'm a phytophilinus. A what? A phytophilinus. You know, a dog that looks like a cat. Stupid folks always make that mistake, but you're smart enough to know the difference, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, yeah, sure. <laughs> Sorry for the mix-up, pal. Uh, yeah, S see you around. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty clever. Hey, do you think that trick would work for me when cats start chasing me? Sure, I'll teach you to meow. Meow? Meow? Morale? Meow? Meow? Now pinch your throat. Meow? <laughs> Here, here, here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What does that sound like? Like a violin going through a trash masher. Oh, I'll never learn how to meow. Sure you will. Hey, I learned how to bark. 
A dog! I was right. That was a dog. You're not fooling me this time, dog. Okay. Continue. I think we all know how this joke works by now. <laughs> You're trapped now, dog! <laughs> I seem to have a bad connection. Come back here, dog! Come back here! He's yelling like he actually expects me to do it. Meow! Working on an impression. Cut me some slack, pal. Oh, <laughs> that was good. I do a pretty mean mouse myself. Listen. Uh, it's a little overstated. Act like you got something stuck in your teeth. Huh? Like this? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's in. Uh, work on it and bring it back. <laughs> There's the dog I was chasing earlier. <laughs> I got him. Wait a minute. Those don't squeak. My squeak. Like that one there. Oh, there's the dog. I caught the dog. At last, I caught a dog. That's not a dog. That's a cat. I warned you. One more mistake. No. This is a dog. It barks. You'll see. It's a dog. Bark for the nice man, Fido. <clears throat> Meow. Okay, that's it. Your history. <laughs> no! It's a dog! <laughs> Ralph, that is a cat. This is a dog! Oh, no. That's a mouse. It goes squeak. It's squeak for the man, Mousy. <laughs> This is a cat. It went meow. I heard it. See, the mouse goes meow. The doggy goes squeak, and the cat goes off. But off, oh, that's not a cat. <laughs> it's a dog, but it only looks like a cat. It sounds like a mouse, but the mouse is a cat. He looks like a dog, but the uncle Bow Wow is the dog eats cheese. <laughs> and the cat, the cat went squeak. Oh, was that the dog? <laughs> Poor guy. So what do we do now? What do we do? I think we got a great act. to give you muscles. Now, go get her. Right. More straw, Wade. More straw. This is a whole book about sports. Anything in there about worm wrestling? That's my kind of sport. Right, Sheldon? Just a second. I'm playing table tennis. Sports make me too nervous. When I watch football, if the players get into a huddle, I always think they're talking about me. Well, I think we should try a new sport, like this one here, pig ball. Pig ball? Ha! Huh, never heard of it. Neither have I, but all the rules are right here. Well, let's try it. 
Only if it isn't too dangerous. Uh uh. Not I. Include me out. I have more important things to do than play silly games. Hm. We don't need him. I'll find more players. Meet me out in the field. Okay, great. Bye -bye. Yes, see I see ya. <laughs> what an idea I have. <laughs> what a rotten, low-down, sneaky, devious, pointless, wonderful idea. Hey, I don't know how I come up with them either. <laughs> Read my lips, pig. No. N-O, no. But this could be a great new game. I won't like it. I don't like trying anything new. Hey, chill down, sis. How do you know you won't like it till you try it? Don't be afraid of something new. Doing something different doesn't hurt. If you do the same thing day in and day out, You'll end up like an old stuffed shirt. They say variety is the spice of life. It's good to have a change of pace. When you get some food, you aren't in the mood. Try a little bit, it could be a hit. So don't be afraid to try something new. Just give it a shot. All right, you like it a lot. And I guarantee a smile on your face. Do go rock a cock a chicka doo 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 wa doo 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 wa. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let's give Pig Ball a try. Terrific. Don't be afraid of something mean. Playing tricks can be a lot of fun. <laughs> There, the new rules for Pig Ball. Okay, Wade. Where's the book that tells how to play Pig Ball? I thought you brought it. Doops, it's by the barn. I'll get it. We just paste the page in. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, the blue team starts by honking like geese until the red team does 30 push ups or sits in three banana cream pies, whichever occurs first. Play begins when the two captains toss a baked potato in the air. If it lands sour cream down, the game is immediately canceled, and all players must immediately move to Scottsdale, Arizona, and open a dry cleaning business. The second <laughs> inning cannot start until everyone puts on a bow tie. And the captain of the blue team locates a live hippopotamus. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uno minuto. I am the captain of the blue team. I have to find a live hippo. What's this? Uh, uh, banana cream pie, uh, dry cleaning. Oh, oh, here it is. A live hippopotamus. Are you sure about this game? Hey, like the rules are the rules. Let's give it a shot, man. Oh, good. It landed sour cream up. Like a uh, honk, honk. Uh, hurry up! Uh, I'm getting sick of doing these push ups. Oh! If you don't sit in the banana cream pie, we lose 81 points. Uh, I don't know about this game. Why do I have to do this? Don't complain! I have to find a hippo pie that possess to win 600 points! I'm beginning to not like this game! <laughs> the red team gets 11 points for every vegetable they impersonate, while the blue team builds a statue of Arnold Schwarzenegger out of coleslaw. And for six points, dress up like a cupcake and locate the Klopman diamond and... That's it! Enough! Stop! This is the stupidest game in the world! I quit! I'm history! Boy, what a bad sport! <laughs> Dress up like a cupcake! They'll do anything! <laughs> All players with less than 300 points are required to change their names to Al. Stop! <laughs> See? 
face! This is no, I can't take it anymore! Stop, that's not a real game! I made it up! You guys did, did all this stuff! Isn't that hysterical? <laughs> you guys look so ridiculous! <laughs> Great joke, Roy. But I think the least you can do is play a real game with us. Like Rooster Ball. Here are the rules. Sure, let's see, Rooster Ball. The object of Rooster Ball is to take the person with the most feathers and throw him in the mud. Oh, hey, this game isn't even fair. I have all the feathers here. I'm bound to... to... Hey, guys. <laughs> uh, let's play another game. Croquet, badminton, hopscotch, crazy eights, goldfish, solitaire. I don't want to play Rooster Ball. How about Canasta? Marsha! Where are you going? Ah, it looks like the game is over, and just my luck. Just when I was about to score 600 points. <laughs> Come on, George. Oh, Garfield. We have a visitor. Don't tell me it's normal. It's normal. I asked you not to tell me that. Someone's at the door. That's right, it's me, Nermal, the world's cutest kitty cat. I don't know if I can stand the excitement. Oh, Garfield, face it. I'm cute, and you're not. Listen, you might want to change to another channel for a moment so you won't see this. Garfield, what are you doing? Let me go! Is this your idea of a joke or something? No, I'm sorry. We don't have any unwanted items to donate. Yes, we do. Here, send this to Abu Dhabi. Tell him it's a new kind of artificial sweetener. Garfield. I can't believe you'd try to give Nermal away. Well, who's going to pay for something like that? Especially when Nermal is so cute and lovable. Psst, watch this. Humans think this is so cute. <laughs> oh, Nermal, I think that's so cute. He thinks chasing flies is cute? I'll show him how to chase flies. Gotcha, fly. Not cute? Well, I thought it was cute. Hey, cute's no big deal. Anyone can be cute. No big deal. Sorry, tree. Not climbing you today. Trees talk to cats, you know. They say, climb me, climb me, but not me. I have tremendous willpower. Sometimes it's hard to fight primal instincts. I'll just jump down. <laughs> like I said, I'll just stay here until someone comes to rescue me. And when they come, I'll get all the attention. Well, what have we here? Hello, eggs. You'll be lunch, and you'll be dinner. <clears throat> As I was saying, you'll be Beatrice, and you'll be Arthur. <laughs> okay. I'll just wait till they miss me and come looking. Shouldn't take long. Any minute now. Boy, they sure miss me. Hey, Garfield! Oh, it's 
you. I thought it was someone. Hey, Garfield, what you doing up in that tree, huh? I know how to get the rescue party here in a hurry. Climbing trees is real cute, Nermo. Why don't you try it? Nermo? <laughs> you did say climbing trees was cute, didn't you? Exceedingly cute. Two cats up a tree will get the rescuers here twice as fast. Oh, look at that poor sweet kitty cat caught up in the tree. Somebody help! See? Hello? Didn't you forget something? Like me? Oh, it's kind of nice up here. I guess it's not such a bad place to spend the rest of my life. Garfield! How did you ever get yourself stuck up there? Guess it's up to me to get you down. I've been watching you sitting up here all day. All day? Oh, you should have seen the cute thing Nermal did earlier. <laughs> he started chasing his shadow. Another heavyweight intellectual activity. And then he got all tangled up in this ball of yarn. It was so, so... Cute. So cute. And then, and then he found a piece of paper, and he started playing with the paper, you know, kind of batting it around. But then it got trapped under the living room sofa, and he was trying to get it out and trying, and he tried and tried, and well, you know, almost anything a cat does is cute. Want to bet? But this was cute, even for normal. And then he, then he, then he, the, Garfield. Garfield, where are you going with the ladder? Garfield! Where's John? He had some work to do at the branch office. Say, normal. John thinks it's really cute when you sit on the TV and play antenna. Oh, really? <laughs> A little to the left. Your vertical hold is off. That's it. Hold it right there. Garfield! Garfield, get me out of here! Gee, I can't bear to hear John yelling like that. I have to do something. Garfield! I'll find something loud to watch. The perfect show. It's a 16-hour telethon to raise money to stamp out 16-hour telethons. Garfield! Garfield! I think you're cute too, Garfield! Honest I do! Garfield!